Hey, Wolfpack and friends. It's your Alpha Wolf here for our very first Tiny Tina Wonderlands build video. Before we get into the build video, I do want to mention that we will be making more than just this build video as well as informational videos. If you want to be notified when those videos come out, please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you will get notified when they do come out. On top of that, if you want to see stuff like this happen live, I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time, as well as Saturday and Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Link will be in the description. Come hang out. We do a bunch of science. We do some chaos runs with the viewers. If you want to be part of the absolute amazing community called the Wolfpack, please come and join us. And now for the build. I would call this right now Dragon Lord Jr. And the reason why I call it that is because just like Dragon Lord, I require many things to become powerful. Dragon Lord him, it's souls, then he becomes super powerful with the sword. Myself, I need a lot of companions to give me a lot of damage. However, I'm not married to this name. If you guys come up with some better names, put them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to rename it. We'll see how that all works out. But this is honestly a spellcaster that does not use the Buffmeister. I know the Buffmeister is a very, very, very good spell, but I wanted to create a build that doesn't require it and can still clear end game content with ease. Let's talk about skills. Before we do so, hero points, max out crit damage, max out spell cooldown. You can throw whatever rest of the points where you want. I put them in crit chance. Now there's two things I want you guys to put in your mind. We're going to go through a lot of details on the skills, but if you want to only remember two things, first things first. On your amulet and on your chest piece, get spell shot at the top. Get as much as the percentage as you can, because every stack of spell weaving is giving us 63.3% spell damage. Bonkers. Second thing I want you to remember, Graveborn Capstone. Every time we cast a spell, we trigger kill skills. Okay, so let me repeat that. Every stack of spell weave, we get 63.3% spell damage. Every time we cast a spell, we trigger kill skills. Action skill, we're using Ambi Hextrix. We're casting a lot of spells. Let's have two equipped. In the Graveborn Tree, let's start with Essence Drain. Whenever we do trigger a kill skill, our spell cooldown rate is triggered. Faithful Thralls, whenever we throw Furiers on the ground and create Hydras, we're increasing our damage by 9% per Hydra. One point Immortal Vessel, that was just a filler. If you want to put that point elsewhere, by all means, go ahead. Three points in Sanguine Sacrament, every time we cast a spell, we're regenerating 15% of our HP for, two, for the duration of two seconds. Second kill skill, Whenever we have a 60% chance whenever we cast a spell to summon a Dark Hydra that does spell damage. Dread Covenant, if we're taking damage, let's have the Lich help us out. Third kill skill, every time we cast a spell, we increase our maximum health and increase our spell damage. Whenever we cast a spell, our Demi Lich is gonna, has a 20% chance to cast a second Hellish Blast. If we do dip down in our HP, we're gaining damage reduction and damage dealt. So, you know, if we're waiting on cooldowns for our spells, then we can trigger, you know, our healing with our spell cast and stuff like that. This is really helpful for survivability. Every time we cast a spell, we have a 20% chance to create an elemental explosion that does 50% of our spell damage. Extra damage, why not? And like I said, our capstone is triggering all kill skills when we cast it. Now, we're throwing furiers. Reload speed is very, very helpful to get our damage up with our companions. Our spell crit hit chance increased by 60%. It's a no-brainer, guys. We're casting a lot of spells. Let's get that crit as high as we can. Spell cooldown rate is the only thing that's important for Font of Might here. Our action skill, we don't have an action skill, essentially. Then we threw one point in mage armor where we every time we cast a spell, every time we reload or throw a furrier hydra on the ground, we're gaining 10% ward. Glass cannon, our ward doesn't regenerate anymore on its own, but we get 30% spell damage. 
you kind of can put together. Mage Armor is helping us with that anyway. And then we got one point in High Thread Count. High Thread Count gives us more Spell Weaving stacks. Remember what I said at the beginning? Spell Weave, 63.3% Spell Damage, more spell, spell Weave stacks. I think Moxie says it best when he goes, now that's a lot of damage. And you'll see that we have three points in just warming up and we have one extra point in high thread count. The armor we're wearing is mainly for high thread count. We're getting three points in just warming up. That is doing absolutely nothing for us. And now for the gear. Before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that I don't have perfect gear. And I'm okay with that because this is still clearing Chaos 20 in good times. Knowing that this can be improved upon makes me even more excited because we have potential for a lot more damage in this build. So let's start with our weapon. I've given you a Furrier Pistol. This is that pistol that is going to create Hydras that is going to apply Frozen for us. It's going to slow them down. On top of that, that is giving us increased damage when our skills are on, when our spells are on cooldown. For the weapon, I'm using a peg leg. If anything comes within melee range and my spells are on cooldown, I need to hit them once and I'll get 40% reload speed. This helps bring out the Hydras and creates distractions for the mobs and get, allows you to get away while your spells are on cooldown. For our rings, I have two of the same. I have the Magic Finger Ward of the Auspicious Him. It's giving us spell damage, spell crit hit damage, spell crit hit chance, and action skill cooldown. Action skill cooldown means nothing to us, but the rest of the perks were absolutely amazing and they're doubled when our ward is full. Now for our ward, we have the Chilling Mind Rune. We first have the enchant that gives us more frost damage on spell cast, but more importantly as well, when we cast spells, we summon a frost rune under a nearby enemy that explodes after a short delay. More damage. It's absolutely crazy. Now. Our chess piece, this is one where we can really improve upon. We have Spellshot and Berserker. The Berserker is doing nothing for us, including the skill that we get. However, we got spell damage, all damage, and gun crit hit chance, and the gun crit hit is not helping us. Spells, we have chaotic versions of the Impaling Ice Spike. The reason why I chose these spells is their cooldown is 11.7 seconds, and we have three charges. I'm sure you've already seen the gameplay. We cast this a lot. I absolutely love this spell. It really hits hard. We have two versions of it. And guys, the biggest, biggest problem that I have, and you may as well if you use this spell, is actually targeting and hitting mobs. <laughs> so don't feel bad if you miss them. But honestly, guys, if there are other spells that you prefer to use, or you want to test out and try out with this build, go nuts. Have fun. I want to see if I can get some good Calamity spells that'll work with this. I love the Calamity spell, but hey, like I said, there's room for improvement. And for our amulet, we're using an Infused Overflow Blood Bag. This is giving us Frost Damage, it's giving us Spell Shot Power, and the rest doesn't matter. And there's the Build Wolf Pack. Let me know in, in your comments below what you think of the build, think of any improvements, or, uh, you know, if I mess something really up. Make me accountable. Appreciate y'all for hanging out for this long in the video. If you want to have this save file, I will be providing it on the Discord, just like in Borderlands 3. Um, and uh, looking forward to the next time seeing you on stream or the next YouTube video. Take care, everyone.